Hello everyone. We're going to do something a little different today. I'm going to call this a rapid fire fix. I'm going to manipulate this image and do some processing in a very fast paced way. Uh, about the amount of time I would normally spend on an image like this, which is nothing particularly special and is a pretty easy image to work with as it has a relatively low dynamic range but it's pleasant, so it's worth uh, worth processing. So I've reset the entire history stack, including uh, turning off the exposure changes and the Filmic RGB. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the rotation of this a little bit because I'm a little bothered by how much this tower is leaning, even though my line intersects with the corner here. So let's open this up, and I'm just gonna do this manually with scrolling my mouse until it looks a little bit more balanced. Not necessarily going for the tower to be perfectly straight, but I want it a lot closer than it was. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave that be. All right, next thing is gonna be to uh, adjust the overall color balance on this, and I'm gonna use the color calibration module. I'm gonna click the dropper to get it to automatically decide what the color should be and that is looking pretty good it's a little uh, a little bit warmer let's see what it looks like if I turn the temperature up a little bit and it starts to get a little bit too orange for me let's bring it down a little bit I want the greens to clearly uh, the greens from the greens from the copper to clearly be green and not orange and I don't want my sky to be too warm. So I'm just slowly dialing temperature back. I think that looks pretty good. I still have some nice warm tones on the sides where the sun's hitting, but the rest of it doesn't look overly warm. Good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and I am going to bump the exposure up a little bit. Let's try half a stop. I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to do a black level correction. Good. All right. Contrast in the image is pretty good. I don't think I need to do anything with a RGB curve. Let's take a look here. Maybe I'll boost up the midtones just a little bit. We'll pin these shadows and just bring the midtones up a touch. I think that's looking pretty good. All right. Now let's check the noise on this image. Not bad, but there is definitely a little bit of noise in there. So we're gonna go ahead with denoise profiled. And I think that's a little too smeary. So I'm gonna set that to wavelets auto, which I find generally does a better job yet. Yeah, look at the detail it brings back in this area and the sky is nice and smooth. I'm happy with that. And the last thing I'm gonna do with this image is I'm gonna jump into the contrast equalizer and I'm just gonna bring up the punch a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at these images compared. So we'll go back to uh, crop and rotate. I'll take a snapshot. So here we have the image before processing and the image after processing. That's it. Less than five minutes, and I think we made a significant difference in the image and gave it a lot more punch and pop. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to try to do some more of these videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good day.